Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video we're going to show you a radiator fan replacement on this 95 Honda Accord, same as any 94 to 97 uh, with the V6. And the only tool you'll need is a 10 millimeter wrench and a regular screwdriver. If your car is running hot, you have two fans here. Uh, they do different jobs. This fan on the passenger side is your AC condenser cooling fan. This fan goes on whenever you have your AC on. Okay. This fan over here is thermostatically controlled so that when your car starts getting warm, um, it will go on. And if this doesn't go on as your car gets hot, uh, what you want to check, back here on the passenger side, I'm going to pull off this cover and it has a few tabs that release it. Okay. And you turn it this way. And the fuse for your radiator cooling fan is right down here at the bottom corner. So it's this fuse. And you pull it up and check it. And now you can see that this little, little circuit in here is fine. You'd see that broken or, or black spot in it. So there's two possibilities here. Your um, fan is, is burnt out, which in that case your fan wouldn't work, um, but the fuse would be fine. Or um, you could replace that fuse and it would keep blowing, and that means that your fan is shorting out and needs to be replaced. You're going to start by disconnecting your negative battery terminal. We're going to remove this plastic um, shield, and that involves removing seven 10 millimeter bolts and two push pins right here. Okay, the seven 10 millimeter bolts are, there should be one right up here, but it's missing on this car. One there, one there, should be another one there, and another one there. And there might even be some push pins here if your car's all together. This car has been apart a few times, so another one here, which is missing again. One up in there. Um, so that's seven bolts, and then there's one push pin still left, and then there's one should be there too. Okay, now just this pin's holding up. Pull it down. Okay, for your radiator fan, I'm kind of on the driver's side of the radiator, and right here there should be a bolt that you would want to loosen up on this car, it's missing. Uh, and then over here there's a bracket where this transmission line runs. And be careful not to hit this line and damage it or anything, but then there's another bolt right here, 10 millimeter. Just going to use a wrench. And loosen it up a little bit. Okay, also while you're up under here, okay, here's the front of the car. This is the radiator here, here's the hose. Uh, up in here is your connection for your radiator fan. I'm going to have to reach up there with both hands and probably block your view, but you basically want to press that button and unhook it. There's the plug. There's the button you're pressing right there. Okay, and now there's four bolts that hold your radiator um, in. One here, here, and then over on the other side here and here, we want to remove those bolts. That just allows us to move the radiator around, give us some flexibility. Okay, to remove your radiator fan, take out these two 10 millimeter bolts here. Now we're going to take this hose, pull it out of here, pull it off the overflow bottle. Okay. 
And now you want to actually take your radiator, kind of lift it up and scoot it over just a little bit. That should give you enough room to kind of get the fan assembly off. And it's just kind of a matter of working it in between the hose here, and you got your overflow bottle over here. The battery box is kind of sticking out here as well. Okay, and there it is out of the car. Okay, so you can see here's the 1A Auto. Okay, it's going to bolt in all the same, same dimensions. It's got all the same um, hookups and stuff. And everything's going to plug in. The plugs are exactly the same as well. Okay, this one's actually working fine, so we're going to install it back into the vehicle. Okay, so just make sure your plug is kind of towards the driver's side and on the bottom. Okay, and work it down in there between the hose and the battery box and overflow bottle on this side. Just kind of pulling my overflow bottle over, pushing it down, pushing it down through my radiator hose there, pulling my radiator hose back. way and it's in place. I get these bolts uh, in. It just started a few turns. Okay. That way if it's not incorrectly down at the bottom you can still move it around a little bit. Okay so now we're going to take our radiator make sure it's all centered and in its cushions. And when I say in its cushions, I mean uh, down here looking from the bottom, here's the mount, and then there's a cushion in the radiator. Uh, and there's two mounts. There's a cushion in the radiator that goes down into these mounts. So you just want to shake the radiator back and forth to make sure that your radiator is down in those mounts. Okay, and then once you have that done, then you can put your brackets back on top and start your bolts in and then tighten them up. And I'll get into a little fast forward here so that we can get through this. Okay, so I've got my uh, fan down on here, so I can tighten up this bolt. And since we're all set up top, I'll tighten it right up. Okay, and then we'll plug in our lead for the fan. and. If your car has it, this one doesn't, there's another bolt that goes in right here. We'll put this back up into place. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of fast forward to spare you from watching me struggle with this thing, but it's just putting in the push pins and the uh, few bolts. Uh, Four to, four to five that I have in my car, but your car should have seven or eight. Okay, and once you get it all together down bottom, you can tighten up these bolts up top. And everything's all set. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.